as Dewan is is playing the, the convocation center custodian as he closes the door. Uh, I have nothing but great things to say about Belmont well coached team. They can absolutely shoot the blood out of the ball. All right, when you make 13 three-point field goal attempts out of 25, you have got to tip your cap to that. I think Casey does a, a magnificent job, uh, and this is going to be just a step in the process of us of, of us becoming the team that we're capable of. Um, but I have 1,000% confidence in the guys that's, that's in our locker room. Um, we're going to continue to get better. Uh, I do realize we have got to guard the three-point line a little bit better. Uh, and but take nothing away from Belmont. They came in here and they got us, got them one. When you say defend uh, right here, when you say defend the three-point line, what does that entail? Was, was it just struggling with the rotation or just misassignments? What no. Does that entail with with uh, defending that three? I don't think it was a lot of missed assignments. We may have overhelped in a couple of situations, not impacting the ball on the catch. Uh, the way we like to pay defense, our, our positioning is our help. Uh, we got caught not too much in rotation per se, um, but we're just not executing our the, the way we guard. Percentages, maybe not where you want, especially for Murray, but holding an offense like that under 70 points, getting them to kind of have to play your style, do you think that's something you can take away from this game? Yeah, well, again, we don't believe in more victories. Uh, I, we knew coming in that, that this was a high-octane high octane offense. Uh, and, and I guess a silver lining in this game, we did hold them to 68 points, but a loss is a loss. We didn't we didn't have enough stops. We didn't make enough, uh, enough buckets. Uh, but then I don't want to take away anything from, from Belmont. That, that is, that, that's a really, really good team. With threes at the other end, I mean, you're getting good looks and they're not falling. So is the message just keep shooting them and they're start falling down? Oh, yeah. I, I have no qualms, no issues with the shots that we made. And when you talk about the law of averages, me knowing the guys I have in our locker room, those shots are going to continue to fall. It's, it's just a matter of time. we got to continue to get our time and to play with one another. <laughs> but the, the quality of shots that we're getting are really, really good. <laughs> You start to feel more comfortable. I'm right here. Yeah. I'm right here. I'm right here. Uh, more comfortable. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to feel a little more comfortable in my role. I think I'm now I'm just playing freely. Um, not really playing in my head. Really just laying. Um, Coach Jones. You know, he believes in me. The whole coaching staff believes in me. So coming here, it was really just to come here and really play my role and help this team win. And just, and I think now I'm starting to feel like I'm more comfortable playing in my role. I'm starting comfortable. I'm playing with that free head space. I'm just playing my way how I play. How does the way you guys played in the last minute kind of speak to the, the mindset, the intensity of the team? Uh, I think when we, I think the last minute we just came together as a team and just really just played for one another and everything like that. Um, Belmont's a really good team. They really shot the ball well uh, today and everything. So we tip our, half, tip our hat off to them and everything. But with these guys in our locker room, we're, I'm ready to go to work with them every day. So I think this last minute was we just showed that we can really hang with anybody. We know we, we know we can play and we play, we play hard, so. Dewan, I guess you could say enough about just the shooting in general, but you're making a lot of rebounds. You're fighting for it. Do you think that's instilling the rest of the team, just like, you know, fighting for that every ball? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, uh, these guys, they tell me all the time, uh, however I move, however my attitude is, they're going to follow it. So I just try to just play hard, just have the right mindset, and just continue to just keep fighting, you know. It was tough today. Never want to lose, but you know, I go to battle with these guys any day, and you know, you can learn from this. We're gonna learn from this. We're gonna get back in the gym, watch some film, and whoever we got next, just know they will take a L. What were y'all trying to do in that last possession? Um, just trying to push, uh, get to the rim. There's about seven seconds left, so you know, during situations like that, we practice stuff like that all the time, so. Off the missed free throw, he was just trying to just make the best play. I'm gonna tell you, you know, this. See what can happen. I'm gonna tell you this. When you got the the <laughs> the dude with the ball in his hands, best in the country at creating, getting to the paint before a defense is set. Uh, hell, I, 100 times out of 100 in that situation, it's gonna be that. And I just gave most people my late game game plan when you got a dude like that with the ball. Stop it. But you know what? I believe in these guys to, to the end of the earth. If his face was on fire, I still love him. If Jermaine's face was on fire, I still love him. These are my guys, and we're going to get better. Is there a crack he can't get through? No. Does that mean he's just 
that just always part of your game? Though? Yeah, my uh, I was uh, a few years ago. I got the nickname Mighty Mouse because I was just able to get into certain places. You know, just get to that room. So. Not even just scoring, just trying to, you know, create, make the best play. So I'm going to continue to do that and moving forward. And, you know, it's, it's not just going to make me better. It's going to make everyone else better. And moving forward, we're going to learn from this. We will be a better team. Yeah, what about those you close game against Georgia Tech here, this game against Belmont, late game situations? Do you think it will be beneficial? Anyone of you can answer being in these scenarios as you get progressing towards conference play in the next few weeks? Absolutely. I think the greatest teacher is experience. And the more you can get in these situations and, and be able to control your emotions, uh, control your decisions, I think that's going to bode well for us. <clears throat> and, um, yes, to answer your question, it absolutely will. And Jermaine, I guess with you on the offensive end as well, finishing with 17, 8, Boss, no more victories like Coach Evans. Is that something you can personally build on going in the next game, seeing their shots fall like that? Uh, yeah. Um, I, I can. I know I can score the ball and everything. I know I can rebound the ball. So I think just do it consistently is my biggest problem right now. Once I do it consistently, I think um, I, we can help. I can help this team to another level and everything. Um, so today, you could, you know, you could say it was like the start of it. You know, hopefully I could build on it, and I'm gonna build on it consistently to um, help this team win and everything. So yeah, this is this is something I just do really. Beneficiary of some of the injuries has uh, been Danny getting a lot of minutes. What have you seen from him in the last couple of games? Yeah, I, I see a more confident individual. Um, I wish he would have shot a couple more shots, a couple more balls today. I think he's an ultimate team player. Uh, and uh, so the thing is, with this opportunity that he's had, I think he's done a great job of taking taking advantage of that.